sharing with you guys one of, I think, the most clever and simple modifications you can do to any modern BMW. So this is a breather cap to replace your regular oil cap. So it works exactly like an oil cap. It's got these two little tabs, which is the classic BMW way of attaching an oil cap with these two little fins here. It simply pops in the place of your factory piece and you have an oil cap now. But it's much more complicated than that because as you can see here, you've got a lot of height here. This is about the total height of the actual mechanism and it is an oil breather. So you can hear, it's got a one-way valve in here, it's got a bunch of different baffling. I don't have anything on this filter here, even though it's been on the car for several hundred miles. But what this is going to do is allow any built-up crankcase pressure inside your engine to escape out of this valve, instead of just relying on your PCV valve. So what this is going to do is by removing that crankcase pressure that builds up underneath your piston, you should have more power better fuel economy, and less wear and tear in your engine. It should also reduce the amount of leaks you're going to get because you're not pressurizing that crankcase, which is going to push out on seals and gaskets and things like that and cause leaks. So this is from Vargas. They are most known for their turbo systems and different turbo upgrades. They're really big on aftermarket support for European turbo vehicles, but this will fit any BMW with this same style oil cap. So this should fit an E39. I can guarantee it'll fit an E60 M5 and an E70 X5M and anything with an N54, N55, S55, things like that. That's what it's specifically made for. I already bought one for my E60 M5. The biggest issue you'll run into is it might not clear your hood. So I really thought this wasn't gonna clear the hood when I put it in here, but up on the hood, they've got this extra padding for heat protection for the paint, and I don't see any sort of indention on that. I don't see any sort of sign of rub on this, so I can guarantee it'll fit on an E70 X5M, and it'll fit on an E60 M5. After that, I'm not sure. I'm sure it would fit on any other N63 X5. Now, this will come in two different pieces. So you'll have this main valve here, and you've got the breather cap, and then, of course, this nice worm gear clamp that connects them together. Now there is a little bit of extra material where this sits a little bit higher than normal. I just put the clamp on here and cut around it with a razor blade just to get this breather down as low as I could. There's still plenty of height. The top of this only goes to about here. So there's still plenty of room for air to get in and out of this nice generously sized filter. But I just wanted to bring the height down as much as I possibly can. It took me a couple minutes and it turned out nice and clean. But I just wanted to give myself that little bit of extra height. I think I ended up getting maybe max a quarter of an inch down. But a quarter of an inch might be the difference between it fitting on your car and not. But for as little effort as involved of literally taking your oil cap off and putting this one on, it is a really great modification for any vehicle that this will fit on. They have a bunch of different options for other manufacturers, so it might fit on one of your other cars as well. While I can't actually feel the difference, Eventually this car will go to the dyno and I'll do a dyno day and I'll test a bunch of different things You know our tunes our air intakes I'll try as many things as I possibly can with our dyno time And I will do a run with and without this and just see if there's any difference You're supposed to be able to rev faster get more power things like that I don't actually feel that but what I can say is I'm getting no negative effects from this So I've gotten no check engine light no weird idle anything like that so it is definitely, I think, a worthy upgrade, definitely something worth trying. Crankcase pressure is a real thing. It is a serious problem. It is always something you're going to have to combat, especially as an engine gets more and more worn and you get a little bit more blow-by as it gets older. This should really help with that. And it costs less than 100 bucks, so it's really hard to argue with. You know, two minutes of work, $100, and you should help prevent a lot of things while also getting yourself more power and fuel economy. So it should pay for itself depending on how long you drive your car. So of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop those down in the comments below. You will be seeing more of this, like I said, on the E60 M5, and of course, eventually at the dyno. So if you guys have any questions, you just drop those below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.